Hello guys, today's topic is what you do when your client passes the gas during massage. If you've been a massage therapist for a long time, you probably had that experience a lot because um, mostly people after 40, they kind of have tendency to flatlands, to have flatlands and pass the gas, especially during massage because uh, massage, uh, it actually stimulates the parasympathetic nerve system which stimulates peristalsis of the uh, intestines and at that time you know you pass the gas i personally had a lot of uh, experiences with that and it's very unpleasant situation because even for client because he feels or she feels very uncomfortable you know it's a natural but uh, you can't help it what you gonna do at that time well, first of all, I have to say that people who are above 40, and then especially the peak of this occurrence is uh, like age of 60 to 70. So you gotta be very careful with these kind of clients. You gotta be careful when you do you know, certain areas, because I've noticed whatever is above the diaphragm, it won't cause any problems with your guts. So you can surely do whatever you want, whatever is above the diaphragm. But once it comes below the diaphragm, and uh, you know, diaphragm has this like semi-oval shape, and it starts from T4 to T11 or something, even in your back. So you gotta be careful when you do close to sacral area at that time, especially if you go deep tissue, it won't cause any materialism. But when you go, I would say like S2, between L4 to S2, that spot relaxes the internal sphincter of anus. Because anus has two sphincters. You know. Internal sphincter is always constricted, so, and it keeps gases and everything. Once you do that, not deep tissue, but like effleurage, at that time, like a reflex, you know, they pass the gas. I mean, it's embarrassing but that's part of nature as i say i have so many experiences and it's because they smell sometimes very bad i was thinking how can i actually get rid of these situations and uh, the only reason you you don't want that happen is uh, that bad smell you know so it's and it actually you know puts you in bed in uncomfortable situation and client because it's kind of out of nothing you can have a little friction between your client and yourself so at that time you don't have to freak out when you hear something and you just uh, get relaxed and uh, always 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 you have to keep in your room a candle the candle is the remedy it kills all gas all smells because you know you can't actually use air freshener it won't help it actually aggravates that smell when it mixes with its sweet smell and it's so not good so you have to keep lighter and candle in your room and once this takes place in your room you just go ahead and take lighter you just go you know you can have lighter on and then just burn that it takes like 10 seconds and it would be no smell at all or you just, you know, go around that area and then get your lighter and keep it on for like two, three minutes or till the end of the massage. Some massage therapists, they, they smart, they probably uh, know that it could happen. So they always keep candle on. So that's smart. That's very smart. So as a massage therapist, I would suggest you keep the lighter and candle all the time in your room because it will actually smooth the situation you know this client they will feel guilty you know and then that's not good that's not good because they they will kind of uh, try to avoid you you know meeting you and everything so that's a good tip so keep the candle and lighter in your room all the time Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, please come in.